We do that on the sales page. We have our follow-up stuff. I need to let people know what 10X Pro can do. And everybody who has a membership site should do the same. So Leo ran there, just wanted to chime in. It reminds me of one of the podcast comments I got. By the way, comments appreciated if you ever want to make a comment. One of them said something to the effect of, I love it when John comes on and just does a fire hose. James, just stay quiet and let him talk. Okay, I didn't see that comment, but yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah, I get this sort of daily update. I think we're pretty big in Romania right now and Sweden at times, and we're cracking through and into the, the UK and the Australian markets. All right, no problem. <laughs> All because of you, John. James Schramko here. Welcome back to superfastbusiness.com. This is episode 857. Got my friend John Lint here talking about membership stuff again. Hey, John. Hey, how are you, James? John, of course, the founder of 10xpro.io, my favorite membership platform. We've got a series where we're talking about different aspects of having a membership site. Mm -hmm. So if this is the first episode you're listening to, you probably want to go back to the start because today we're talking about how to sell your memberships. And we're talking about subscribing individual members into your membership. I mean, primarily, of course, there could be a business to business application where you have multiple people coming at once. And I do have clients like that. But I think by far, most of the people listen to this have one off sales. So we're just going to cover a couple of ideas. It won't be an exhaustive list or exhausting list for that matter of absolutely every possible way. But we'll just talk about a couple of ways that maybe people haven't considered or thought of and, and certainly some of the things that have worked well for me and perhaps some of the other members who you've been uh, supervising there in your 10x pro environment beyond just doing the software of course john you provide training as well for your members and you've also got little courses and things and you have live calls so that people can come and have their questions answered so if anything we talk about piques your interest head over to 10xpro.io check out the platform it's very easy to get started but for now, uh, let's talk about one of our clients. You actually uh, told me about a client who was using your platform and also is a member of my community. And one of the things he did was a little bit different than what we normally hear for how to sell memberships. He actually put together a little online event. So, John, do you want to just give us a little overview of what that looks like as a way to have people find out about your membership and join. Yeah, absolutely. So that's basically what he did. He, he created what's called a virtual summit, a virtual event, if you like. The way that works is that you have, let's say, multiple experts and uh, what you are selling, you're selling in. So it's like a, a, a what you, you the events that we used to have in a conference room. Well, you do that online, basically, right? So you're going to have people join that event, we're going to buy access to that event. And uh, they basically receive a, their username and password to a protected membership site where the online event is going to take place. And what does that mean? It means that you're going to have sessions, pretty much what you and I are doing right now, like kind of like interviews or presentations from a specific expert about a specific topic. And they can be moderations. And of course, there's going to be uh, Q&A calls and all of that, Q&A uh, Q session at the end of, of the presentation. So it's a basic a series of um, live classes, if you like, from specific experts about a specific topic. And um, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome to do, especially right now that people can't travel as much. And uh, um, it's a great way to leverage the power of the internet to start doing those live events. So I think, you know, he did a few uh, since then. And uh, it worked really well. It's a great way to build your list. We can talk about that in, uh, later. It's a great way to make sales. It's a great way to get new partners on board because you're pretty much exposing them to different, uh, to a bigger audience, right? So all of these experts join in and they understand that they might do one presentation, but they're going to be exposed to maybe the followers of all the other experts and on top, the traffic that you bring yourself uh, because you're actually selling access to that, right? So um, there are multiple ways that you can do it. If you want to cut them in into uh, some kind of affiliate setup, then that, that's up to you. Some people have done that as well. Um, and it's a great way to create this, this special event about a specific topic where people can learn a lot and um, get exposed to different experts. So if you want to go deeper, we can talk about the technicals and all that, but that's in, in a sense, that's a strategy. So you have that one-time event, which is great because again, you have that urgency, that scarcity, that special event that people might want to pay to get access to. So that adds to the sales component of that um, strategy to get more people in, to, to motivate them to buy basically because they don't want to miss out. Uh, yeah, and it's a great way to build your list and get sales, like I said. Great. Yeah, and I know we have covered this in more depth in a, in a particular um, 
seminar or live event or, or summit type focus training in a previous episode, which we'll link to in the show notes at episode 857. Now, from a technical perspective, I'm not the guy to ask, but, but I'm, I'm going to make it pretty simple. You just have a registration page where people can go to and register their interest or buy. You can, you can choose. You can either do it free or paid. And when they join, then they start getting emails from your synchronized email system, letting them know when the sessions are on. You capture the sessions. You put the recordings in their portal. And, of course, now you're creating a massive amount of content and hopefully getting a little bit of support from the other people who you're having on this event. If you're having other people, you don't need anyone else. You can do it yourself. And you can use little snippets from that content as part of your social marketing to go one layer out from this to bring people into the event. So what we're talking about is various layers. The ultimate goal being, of course, we have people join our membership. To do that, they need to know, like, and trust us and find out about what we have and get a sample for it. So the summit or the event that we have in front of this is a good way to do that. And then, of course, we can use the buzz around that to attract people to it in the first place. So if you're starting from scratch, there's a little bit more work, but it's got a much uh, bigger, faster result if you do it well. And I know Chris has uh, well and truly several hundred members of his membership now, and this was the prime Kickstarter that got it going. So uh, while we're on this, let's just talk about selling for a minute because when we talk about how to sell memberships, uh, that there's sort of a dirty word in there, sell, sales, selling. I think uh, from my conversations that I've had, a lot of people are like, oh, I feel a bit bad sort of mentioning my products or services to people. I feel icky like a, you know, a bad salesperson. And I just want to address that a simple replacement for sell would be help. Can you help people be better off? If people could come along and see your stuff and willingly pay you as an investment in themselves, because they're not investing in you, they're investing in themselves, being better off, would you be happy about helping them be better off? If they were happy about paying it, could everyone win? And the answer is, of course, yes, there's value creation. Very simple example, if you are driving along and you're about to run out of fuel in your vehicle, you need to pull over and acquire some from a service station. You pay the attendant for the fuel because you know you need the fuel to be better off. Having the fuel will get you to where you want to go. Not having the fuel means you're stuck on the side of the road to an almost certain death. So we pay to be better off. We're happy about it. Uh, the person selling it's happy about it. They're helping all these motorists uh, get fuel and continue their journey. That's all we're doing with the membership. We're setting up something of value. We already pay for all these different memberships from Netflix to our telephone subscription, our internet provider. We're paying every single month for all these things, water, electricity, and so forth. So would someone out there pay you to be better off with your membership? I just wanted to cover that. It's not something to feel bad about. It's something to feel good about. And when you reframe this, you, you go for it. Really, uh, you should be letting everyone know about this, which is part of the process. So we're talking essentially about different ways you can let people know about your program and make sure they don't get in their own way. So what do I mean by that? I mean, some people intend to join and would like to join but just visiting your page and then getting distracted or whatever, you know, the courier arrives at their door or they have to pick someone up from school or they're in the middle of dinner and they, they intend to buy and they want to and they know they'd be better off and they'd be happy to do it, but they just don't quite finish it. That's why we need other things in place. So we're going to cover some of that in this episode. Um, one question we get a lot, and I'm really interested in your thoughts on this, John, is whether you can sell a membership up front or not what are your thoughts um up front you mean like uh, straight up uh when they land on your website yeah yeah well you could i mean you do that i know that you do that and uh, but there are reasons why you do that and why some yeah sort of do it right and that's that's the context missing isn't yeah it? exactly so okay so can you have a sales page so let's break, break it down right can you have a sales page that talks about your membership site that asks to, for the order where they buy they, they pay yeah, you could have that. Is that the best strategy for everyone? I would say no. Then it will depend. What will it depend on? It will depend on your positioning. What does that mean? Well, it means that do people know you? Do, again, the first thing that we need to do when nobody knows who we are, who we, are we need to know, get them to know us, like us, trust us. 
Why? Because then they understand who we are. We, they know that we are an expert. They, they know that we can help them. And therefore, it's much easier. But if they don't know any of these things, they just stumble on the page. They don't trust you. They, don't, they never heard of you before. It's all of these barriers that are going to basically reduce your conversion rate. So yeah, from 100 people who land, it's probably going to be 0.x percent, if that, if you're lucky, right? But if they already know you, like you, trust you, they see you as an expert, they know that you have helped other people, all of the, the things that you need to do before you present the offer then obviously the numbers are going to increase. So the reason though you can kind of do it is because you have been doing this for more than 10 years. You are an expert in this industry. A lot of people know you already. You have tons of uh, podcast episodes. This is episode 857, all right? And thank you so much for having me again. But you know, so you have all, all of that work. So you can get away with it. Someone who has not done anything before, well, obviously it's not gonna have those results. So. That's what I have to say about, can you set it up front? Technically, yes. Should you do it? I would argue for most people, they should probably not do it. They should do different things that we talked about before. But obviously the first thing that you need to do is to attract people to you. But, and that's by publishing content, by um, being online, by uh, doing all the things that you can do to bring people to you, to attract them so that they get to know you like you trust you. The next thing you need to do is to build your own audience whether it's on social media, whether it's on uh, email, but of course the ultimate goal is to capture that email so we can communicate with them. Why? So again, we can bring them back to our content and let them get to know us, like us, trust us, uh, know that we understand the problem, know that we have a solution to those problems, show them that we have helped other people, show them case studies, testimonials, and then ultimately make an offer, present the offer and present the solution to their problems. And the, that solution is the membership site is our coaching program, the recurring program that they can join every single month or every single year. And they are going to get solutions to all the problems that they are facing in that specific niche. So for me, that would be a better strategy. Going back to your question, could you do it technically? Yes. Okay. So let's have, let's sort of break down some of the things, the variables here. One is the type of traffic. It plays a huge part. As you mentioned, I have published more than a few episodes. There'll be people listening to this episode, John, who have heard you and I talk about 10X Pro, and still haven't tried it out, but might try it out later on the series. Like we're only halfway through the series, which is pretty interesting. And you've been on this show many, 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 many times. In fact, if you go back far enough in time, there was a time when I didn't even know you. You didn't know me. I didn't know you. Then we found out about each other. And then we started working closer together. You, you modeled a lot of the membership functions, for example, around what I was doing with my membership. I happily shared that with you because you came along like, like a genie in a bottle, <laughs> you know, waving the magic wand saying, what do you want it to do? I'm like, oh, no one's ever asked me this before. Yeah, we're still doing it. Still going, still going strong. You know, and now we've seen so many people come through the platform, getting results and succeeding. And eventually as I publish more and more and more and more case studies, in a year or two from now, there'll be people who just decide, okay, I've seen enough. I think, you know, it's beyond doubt. But then there'll be some people who don't get it. I had a, had a promotion piece for one of our previous episodes. It was the seven steps of a membership. And one of my ex-clients who, who also tried the platform posted, this is wonderful content, but you need to be technical to use the program. And I remember this client. This client was a super outlier, like very unusual compared to the usual person I get to deal with. Extraordinarily complex. And from what I know, I think this person pieced together their own website by themselves. That was on a more technical platform, uh, like WordPress, for example. And so you can't please everyone, all right? So I'm not saying every single person listening is the absolute perfect solution. However, it is probably for most people. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say on that. But it's just interesting. Like no matter how easy you make it, there's still someone who's going to say, oh, it's not easy enough. Yeah, sure. So they might not be a perfect mm -hmm. fit. So traffic, we've talked about that. If someone's cold, like the reason I brought this up, I just don't want someone to go and get the membership platform write their first sales page for a brand new pot product and if they're an unknown and have no audience and no list and then they make it go live and then wait for the money to roll in. I did that. I did that in 2006 and I'm not too embarrassed to say I did that. I bought some resale rights to a membership riches 
program or some kind of riches program that, that had resale rights. I installed it all, hooked it all up. I put it on ClickBank. It went live. I was so excited. Absolutely nothing. It was one of my first sort of kick in the face. And you'll get a lot of these on the way. Now, we've eliminated a lot of potential for this, but I just want to factor reality. Don't expect to convert 20% of the people come to your site. And firstly, like what people, where did they come from, magically arrive from? Make sure that you're realistic about this. When you do have momentum, when you do publish content, if you do run ads, if you do publish a book, if you do speak from platforms, if you do guest on other shows and so forth, and people start to, to get your name or get referred to you, yes, you can sell your membership directly as I do all year long, every day at superfastbusiness.com, every day. That's the down the track version of what's possible. I want you to know it's possible. I also want you to know that other people might have to do it a different way. Now, one of the popular membership programs teaches start a free Facebook group, warm people up, and then migrate people. That's one way. It's a valid way. I don't love the Facebook platform. Although someone called me, someone very friendly from there called me today and offering to help me with my paid account, which was lovely, rare to actually have a connection. They would like to assist me to increase my budget and learn about new campaigns and so forth, which is wonderful. So they can be nice sometimes, but I don't know from a personal choice, I don't want to spend all my time on free Facebook groups. And, and particularly right now in, in the world, the way it is, it's a, a more divisive platform than at any other time in history. And so it's, it could be deemed almost toxic in some ways. I know you're not on there a lot, John, because when I logged in the other day, I saw a whole bunch of posts that you liked within about five minutes and then you're yeah, gone. I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. And I only check what you do and that's it. And I give you like, and that's right. it. So, and, and of course, you've got to respond to people's questions and comments and that is, it's, that's just the service nature of you. So if you don't want to do it that way, there are other ways. So let's talk about some of those. I'm referring to some notes here because I do plan these podcasts. A Going back to days. this, I mean, you know, this is just one simple strategy. It's like, okay, you can have a Facebook group and hopefully you attract people to the topic of that group. And then you are hopefully doing a good job and not what all of these other guys are doing, which is you're showing up, which is already great. And you're helping. Thing. That is one strategy. Another strategy, you can start a YouTube channel and you can post some cool stuff and you keep on posting cool stuff, just like your Facebook group. You need to keep on showing up and keep on doing. That's another strategy. The podcast, you create a podcast, you keep on creating your podcast episode and hopefully you're attracting more. You, do a, you become a guest on other people's podcasts and hopefully you start doing more and more to attract people to you. So all of these are the same. It's all about building some kind of audience. That's number one. So. I just uh, explained different ways of building some kind of audience. And then after that is what you do with that audience. So usually, and what we would recommend is, of course, you need to bring them to you, right? You are, you are using all these platforms. You are taking advantage of these platforms. And I'm all for all that. I don't like them. I don't waste my time on social media. But of course, I understand the strategy. But people need to understand as well that we should not just build their business there, they need to take advantage of those guys. We are not here to build Facebook business. They already have billions of dollars. We're not here to build YouTube's business, already have a billions of dollars, Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. We're here to take advantage of those guys. We're going to take advantage of their traffic, of the people who are there to build some kind of audience that's going to get to know us, like us, trust us, and then they want more. Oh yeah, I want more how to lose weight uh, tips. I want more golfing tips. I want more financial investment tips or whatever. Great, let me find out more. What do you have? Oh, well, you have a website. Great, let me check it out. Look at that. You have actually a mini course or you have a virtual event, like you said, or you have a video, a rip whatever it is. Great, yeah, I want that. Let me give you my email for it. Great. And then you keep that conversation going until the time is ready for you to tell them, by the way, if you enjoy all the stuff that we've sent you, you don't say it like that, but that's the gist of it, right? I invite you to take the next step and check out my membership program. And I'm sure they will already know because if you did a good job, you kind of embedded that message about your membership site and how you're helping other people as part of all your messages. That's what we should do. And then they are already aware. And then when, they are, when the time is right, they go and purchase access to a membership. That's something else that I, I wanted to say is that and coming back to the selling thing, in my mind, there's no such thing as selling in terms of 
convincing, right? That dirty word of setting. Let me convince you to buy a membership site. That doesn't work. You can do it maybe with a vacuum cleaner, right? All right, let me give you that, you know, sales pitch. I'm so, I'm so slick. I'm going to make you buy that vacuum cleaner or whatever it is. But you can't do it with a membership site. Maybe you can sell one month. Do you really want a membership site business that where people quit after one month? That's not a business. You have nothing. So it doesn't matter. And going, going to your, uh, I love your fuel example, because that's exactly right. The fuel company where you're buying a fuel, they don't need to convince you to buy the fuel. But what they need to do, and you mentioned that, they need to make sure to let you know that they have fuel. So yes, we have our, our, our station is here. You can get whatever, this, this, and that. They don't need to convince you. They don't need to sell, but they need to do a job of letting you know about it. And that's our job as well. We don't need to sell. We just need to let them know we should not be shy. We shouldn't be scared. We shouldn't be, oh, uh, well, no. We just go through the basics and we let them know this is what it is. This is the membership side. These are all the benefits. This is the problems that we're going to solve. This is how better your life can be. We're not selling. We're just letting them know. And we're just doing our job. That's the only job we need to do. Tell people. This is what it is. Just like my job is to tell people about 10X Pro. We do that on the sales page. We have our follow-up stuff. I need to let people know what 10X Pro can do. And everybody who has a membership site should do the same. So Leo ran there, just wanted to chime in. It reminds me of one of the podcast comments I got. By the way, comments appreciated if you ever want to make a comment. One of them said something to the effect of, I love it when John comes on and just does a fire hose, James, just Stay quiet and let him talk. Okay, I didn't see that comment, but yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah, I get this sort of daily update. I think we're pretty big in Romania right now and Sweden at times, and we're cracking through in, into the, the UK and the Australian markets. All right, no problem. <laughs> All because of you, John. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to give an example. Do you want me to lift the hood and show you how it works? I'm going to give you a specific example. I want you to pay attention to this because a lot of marketers – don't tell you what they're actually doing. They, they tell you what to do, but, but you should do what they're doing. Okay, big difference. This is the part where I say, what would be a good way to get people to find out about your membership and to be, have them interested in coming to visit your sales page? And the answer that I give students lately is make little videos. It's very simple. Just make little videos and publish them on those platforms. Now, this is what I'm going to say. I've put together a training on this and I've made it available at superfastresults.com for $9. It's something like how to use short videos to make sales, right? I mentioned that on this podcast. I'm mentioning it right now. So someone's listening to this podcast. They find out about this training for $9. It is there, by the way. This is not just an example. This is real. And I do mm -hmm. recommend you That's get it. It's a good it. one. They go along and buy this product for $9, which is a very low risk, but it is a commitment for someone who's interested in, in short social media video marketing. And it shows how I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars from these short videos. So I think it's a very high return on investment. I've never had anyone ask for a refund. I've only had good comments on it. What will happen then is they will get some emails and one of the emails will offer them access to super fast business membership, which is like the next one up. It's the, the email is sort of like you've got the video training, which is one of the videos that we trained on inside the membership. Would you like access to all the other videos? I mean, we're talking hundreds of videos. now. And I give them a coupon. I won't say how much or, or the, the terms because you have to join to find out. But it's, it's a, a lot more valuable than $9 to claim or redeem. And by, there is a suggested time they should do that by to join the membership. So that's my email follow-up. So you can see the sequence here, just to be clear. Somehow, if you're listening to this, you got to the podcast. I don't know how you got to this podcast, but I'm always interested. Did you see it in iTunes Marketplace? Did you get referred to me by someone? Did you follow me on social media? <laughs> you're following John's social media. I highly doubt <laughs> yeah. that. Right. But somehow you got to this podcast and I'm so thankful that you made it. Not every single person that listens to this podcast buys something. Maybe 65,000 people a month listen to this podcast and not 65,000 people buy something. That's okay. It doesn't cost me that much to host the podcast on my Amazon S3 account. But if you are listening to this and you have an online business and you want to be better off and you think, John or I could help you 
and the idea of making short videos seems feasible when platforms like YouTube, Instagram, uh, Facebook are dominating, then that product's probably a good bet. You go along and buy the product, you get the coupon, and then you may want to join the membership. And I get a lot of feedback like, I was thinking of joining the membership anyway, but when you sent me this offer, it was a no-brainer, and here I am. That's a common thing. So they can actually join the membership for an extremely low rate with this coupon. So this is a side door pathway. So yes, someone could come straight to superfastbusiness.com. They could go through my chooser and be offered my membership and join instantly, like within a minute. Or they go the slow route, listen to a bunch of podcasts, buy a little product here and there, get a few emails. So we're going to just break this down now. I'll just unpack this. I just thought it'd be interesting to just share what I actually do because maybe people aren't connecting the dots, but if you can't connect the dots off that, <laughs> this is how you sell memberships if you want to do the content marketing thing. Now, I also run ads to a couple of things. I run ads to my free challenge, which is a 30-day challenge, and the premise is you get a tip each day for 30 days. Now, that gives me 30 days worth of emails to build a relationship. That also has a coupon offer. I also give away my book. I give away my book as a PDF and that's at superfastresults.com forward slash book. Do you see what I just did there, John? I've linked to my book from my podcast. Beautiful. Someone Beautiful. goes to that's on a 10X Pro website. You want to you see this thing in action, go and get my free PDF. And when you buy the, that, it will offer you a print version and it will offer you a print with audio version. That's an upsell, so from free to paid. So that pays a little bit. That money I can put back into running ads. So it's reinvesting back into the ad machine. And I've got this wonderful ad guy running me ads and they're doing really well. And I can just keep fueling that. And again, they're joining the email list and they will be offered a coupon for super fast business. All paths lead to super fast business. It's the center of my universe. But around that, if we're not ready for that, there's super fast results. That's the membership underneath that. And if we're already way past it, then we talk silver circle. I've got the spectrum. This is a year's worth of work to put together. If I had to start from scratch, then I would say make short videos, send them to something where you can get an opt-in, and then use email. Email, 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 email. Email is still the big dog, okay? So I'm just going to see if I've captured this. I've got a couple of things that I wrote down. I want to make sure I've covered this off. But firstly, John, agree or disagree? About the whole thing, yeah, of course. It's uh, it's the whole strategy. Yeah, what I've said. I mean, you, you can you can speak your own mind. Like we're two different people. You've seen other people handle this. I'm biased to my method. Just it's uh, posting stuff out there, posting stuff out there, so they get to know us, like us, trust us, get to know who we are. That's it. They discover us. Great. Now, do they are are they interested in our stuff? Uh, for example, for you, it's clear. Are you interested in uh, online business and learning different things about online business? Yes or no? If no, okay, you leave, you go check out something else on YouTube. If yes, great, I watch it. I watch your different episodes and okay. But then I realize that, oh, talk, you have this course about uh, videos. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. So that's the next step, right? So maybe I buy it, maybe I don't buy it. Maybe you tell me that, oh, I discovered you have a book. Do you know about that? Let me check out the book. So see, I already get to know you. Now I'm going to check the book. How? Oh, it's free. I can I can simply put my email, my name and email, and I get the PDF. I don't know if it's free. I think it's free, right? It's free. 100% free. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get the book. Uh, it's just, That's fantastic. I read the book. Uh, and uh, by the way, everything, of course, it's about providing value. What is providing value? I believe my book is extreme value for free. <laughs> it's, a it's a great book. Really Hopefully great this book. podcast episode brings value to some people listening. And uh, I think it will. Well, if they're still listening this far <laughs> yeah. in. <laughs> so, but it's about value. What is And what is value? It's about making sure that we uh, you deliver something that is going to help your audience get one step closer to their desired result. One step closer. It doesn't have to be the entire thing, but just one step closer. It can be one tip, can be just one aha moment, can just be, this is how you get rid of this or whatever, right? Just valuable stuff. The book is valuable, I know about it. Your courses are valuable, I know about it, so great. So now there are two ways. Either you can buy something, they can join your list. Why? Because then we can keep on doing that further. Like we can and send 
targeted emails that bring value is not just, Hey, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. You don't do that. You send emails about, Hey, listen to this new podcast episode with this person who is an expert in that stuff. You're going to learn all of these cool things. That's usually some of the emails, value-based emails. But then of course, when the time is right, you make offer-based emails where is not selling, is not convincing. It's just saying, Hey, if you are interested in taking the next step and you want more coaching from me, personal coaching and join the community where there's a ton of people talking about this. And at the same time, you get all of these training programs that are part of the membership. Then I invite you to take the next step. And by the way, for the next few days, you can get this coupon or whatever that's going to give you these extra bonuses or maybe even a little discount or whatever it is. So now I have a reason to join now when I'm ready. And if I'm not ready, that's okay because I'm going to get more valuable emails, valuable pieces of content from you. And then again, I'm probably going to get another offer later uh, about joining the membership or maybe buying a, a, one of the courses, whatever it is. So, and that's it. That's basically what we all do. That's what everybody should be doing. That's what, how you build a successful online business, provide value, help them out, but also invite them to take the next step periodically throughout your sequences. So yeah, I do agree hundred percent. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Mate. Got my sound effects pad, so I'm dangerous. So, got my first episode published with sound effects, and the feedback was they liked them. But if we overcook it, then please let let me know. Now, build your waiting list. That's really really a good starting point. If you have nothing, just put up a waiting list. Put an opt in. If you've got something, think about how you can collect email addresses, and and think think about your hook. What is it that stands you out? I've got a few little hooks out there. I've got a, a challenge, a work less, make more challenge. I've got a free book. I've got small courses. I've got endless podcasts and I have a truckload of little videos. And this is, I just want to state this, right? Some of my videos, I get 36 views or 50 views. It doesn't matter. I'm not a famous YouTuber like a lot of my students. Do you know I've got students who have 360,000 YouTube views or 800,000 YouTube subscribers, et cetera. So my, most of my students are like kings in the industry. It's amazing what you can do off a small list of the right people you know, when you resonate with them. So you don't have to be a personality. You don't have to be big and famous. You just have to be relevant. And that's what we aim to do on all of these episodes, which is why we, we take notes now. And when it comes to making the conversion, I, I want to make sure this is so crystal clear. It's the days of your sales page doing all the sales are gone. It's not about that. That's the ultimate conversion piece that, that they'll probably see before they hit the buy button. However, they may have come there from emails and the email relationship is still really, really important. Send story-based emails, send case study emails, send demonstration emails, send a question, help people out. Do you know I email coach some people before they join just to show that I can help yeah, them? Yeah, you're famous for that. Like they say, I'm not, I'm not sure if I should join or not. And I say, well, tell me what's going on. And they tell me what's going on. And then I ask a few more questions and then I answer it for them. And then I tell them what to do next. And then they say, this is amazing. How do I get more of this? And I say, well, that, that's what we actually do in the membership. So if you like this, you're going to like the membership. The risk is just gone. The trust is sky high. They know I answer my emails. They've already got help without paying a cent. These are all great strategies. Dean Jackson talks about this. I'm a huge fan of it. But I already knew this before I came to the online world because that's how we used to work at Mercedes-Benz. If someone was interested, we'd take them for a drive and we'd let them experience the product. They didn't pay for that. And often they would feel very comfortable making a high transaction uh, choice. So. Use a feature recap. Okay, so what you can do is publish some of the insider stuff to outsiders. That's a nice way. So if you already have a membership going, take snippets or demos from inside and publish them outside. Or like a lot of um, paywall news agencies do this. I don't know if you've noticed this, but on, on your phone or whatever, or you click on a newspaper site, a big name newspaper, some of them will let you read a few stories before then you have to subscribe to see more. That sort of strategy you can send them some content that's inside the membership, but they can't access it unless they join. So, you know, it can really work well. I've got to talk to you, John, about if we can 
get a scenario where people can view a certain amount of content and then they can pay to see more because I think that sort of feature might be something really amazing for a like a preview section. Like in the old days with forums, you, some of them could have public-facing content but then you have to pay to go behind the, the paywall. That's that's certainly can be done via email today without any technology. Make sure the name of your program really speaks well to the results someone wants. So you've got the ability to subname it. You might have your domain name, but you can subname a program. You know, you could have a improve your golf drive program. So for a golfer they, and they want to get drive the ball longer, then that speaks exactly to the solution. So always think about your names. Don't get bogged down on the name though. Don't get stressed out and don't get paralysis. And uh... just, just start. Well, okay. So my, my main point on this is please don't use the word beta. Because beta just says, here's the crap version of my membership. Yeah, I'm trying it out. Please test it. Yeah, it's like, hey, um, I'm, I'm thinking about this. I've sort of launched it a bit prematurely and it's not quite ready and I'm hoping you'll take all the risk on me. And so I'm just going to call this my beta program. I suggest you call it a pilot. If you think about all the successful sitcom programs, most of them started with a pilot. That was good enough to get um, accepted as a as a proper season and then they got funded and then they renewed. So a pilot program is good. That implies that there's some element of infancy, but it also implies that there's a very good chance it'll go on to be a smash hit, like, you know, an eight-season run. <laughs> Uh, like like my membership's been around for years and years. We'd and also years. use something like a founders program and a uh, founders group. Exactly, founders program. I like that. So think about you know just just nuances. If you're in any of our memberships, just run the name of your program past us. A founders program, a case study program, a pilot program, but just avoid beta. Yes, make your sales page great. Make your sales offer page great. John has a sale copy training. I've got a sales copy tool available as well. It's at superfastbusiness.com. On the footer, there's a link called Tools, and it takes you to a sales page generator. Combining these sort of tools, you can get something going that works. But remember, that's, not, that's a nice to have. When you've already got a membership and you've already got money, you can reinvest in an amazing copywriter, and that will move the needle. But just, you've got to start with something. So just start with your best guess. And remember... Your email is like the safety net for a trapeze artist. Yeah, and I would actually argue that's probably the best way to do it because then you have a base. You have a base of conversions. You have, okay, right now I've been I, I've done my own sales page and it's converting at, let's say, 2.3%. Should I hire this guy who is, uh, or this girl who is like awesome, apparently an awesome copywriter? Well, let's see. Let's see if they can even beat your own version. And hopefully they can, right, if you pay. But at least you have a base. Because if you just go straight with, uh, let me spend ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars on a copywriter, you have no, you have no data to compare. So, you know, what, what is it, right? So, yeah, take your time. These are all things to improve, to optimize. Yeah, most of the good email systems we use will allow you to load up several versions of an email, so you can compare them, see which one works. But I, I often beat the paid copywriters' emails with my own email. Because most of the time, it has it's about being genuine. It's about having that personal thing, and um, yeah, whether you uh, are perfect or not, it doesn't really matter because they want to connect with the real person. Well, that's it. I, I mean, I'm talking even for my clients when I rewrite their emails in uh, private coaching. I, I'm usually just stripping out all the bullshit copywriting standard framework stuff that alerts people that this is a sales pitch. <laughs> exactly. So it's about being natural and organic and real and using plain words. Exactly, yeah. So the, another thing that worked really well for me to sell memberships for many, many years for both of my websites was a documentary. Mm, okay. I had a, a, a brilliant filmmaker called Michael Hansen and he made me a documentary for Silver Circle that was – it was on the homepage of my site for about seven years. Silver Circle's been around for over 10 years now. And it was a beautiful film, a little short film. It was black and white and it took someone through a case study. I had a student who came in, was making $30,000 a month. And within a month, we got him past $300,000 per month. So it's pretty compelling. And it, it's not typical. Most people don't make that much that quickly. <laughs> But it was still, it happened. 
and it was real and he traveled to australia to come to my event and it was documented and it was a great documentary so i think documentaries work i've had also had um, other members do this especially in markets that have a hard sell documentaries can really be a non-salesy way of demonstrating how someone could be better off they place themselves in the shoes of the main character of the documentary and enjoy that transformation as a story but just to put this in perspective i've been doing the storytelling in video for such a long time and it's now becoming popular but you can go back and i've, I've used storytelling documentaries that's a this is a left field way i'm doing some work now with can from social wave and he uses videos in his marketing it's explainer videos videos in training we're going to hear a lot more about that in future episodes but Videos and storytelling is still sticks of dynamite to just blow things in, into the next dimension. We've already talked about emails over and over again. So action steps from this episode, just to recap, because we're at time now. Think about um, when it comes to selling memberships, how can you help people be better off? Who are those people? How do you communicate to, to them in a way that makes sense to them? Where can you go and find them? How do you let them know that you exist? What things can they go and get that they can give you an email address for? And how will you follow them up with emails to mention your membership? I suggest coupons and deadlines, just quietly. All of the technology to do this, aside from the actual email system, is built into 10x Pro, but the email system will talk to 10x Pro so it integrates like a hand in glove, like Dropbox does for Amazon S3. You know, so the recommended suppliers for emails are listed on the site. You could always ask John, but that's basically it. And that's in purpose. Again, just just side note on this, it's in purpose. Why? Because you need to be in control of your email list. It's the most important thing in the world. We talked about this. That's why 10X Pro was built to work perfectly at a deep level. So you can do a ton of amazing automation with your existing email system. The ones you're using, James, Entreport, I'm using InfluenceSoft. Most people are using ActiveCampaign, Dript, ConvertKit, Aweber, MailChimp. These are the top ones that most people are using. That's what we have deep integration with. And we are the only, only platform out there that will allow you to do amazing things with your existing email system because you never want to put your email subscribers into anyone's system. Don't put it on 10 Pro. Don't put it anywhere else because if you lose everything, but you still have your list, Based on everything we talked about today, hopefully you realize that having your own audience is the most important thing in the world. Because if, let's say you lose everything, next, the next day you can set up a page, tell them, hey, by the way, I'm opening up this new thing. And you do that in Leo email sequence. And hopefully you start getting some new members, some new sales. So you can get back up. You lose your email list, you have nothing. So little side note. That's it. You lose your Facebook group and you don't have the email list. You've got nothing. And the other thing about 10X Pro is it's often using the content that you've got somewhere. All my videos, for example, are on Amazon or Dropbox uh, or on a video player that we just embed or load up. So if for whatever reason the site disappeared, we still have our email list. We still have our subscriptions in place with Stripe and PayPal. And we still have our content. So it's pretty secure from my perspective from an own the race course Thing. That, that question comes up all the time. Might as well just knock it on. Yeah, the because it's it, in these days, it's extremely, extremely important. Hopefully people are under, are starting to understand the power of decentralized systems. We have been living in a world, in the internet world, where everything was centralized because of the technology required. So what does that mean? When you're using a system, any platform, there's usually one computer where everybody, every client is there. Our goal is to not do that. Yes, we're going to take care of everything for you. So it's a semi-decentralized system, meaning that we are taking care of, of the, all the backups, the updates, all of that, but every single website in 10 Pro is unique, is different. If one site gets hit, all the other ones are gonna be fine. Most other platforms out there, it's one server, one computer. A little bit techy stuff, but it's important to understand as we move forward, with whatever's happening in the world right now, it's extremely important. That's why we built it from the ground up. Why? Because when I built 10X Pro, I, it was first for me. And second, for people, I was looking at, would someone like James 
use a system. If I tell him, hey, listen, James, if you want to do this email stuff, you need to put all your emails that you've been collecting for the past 15 years, you need to put them into our system so we can do this cool stuff. Of course, the answer is no, because no serious marketer will do that. My concern would be that they take the entire database of all of their clients and remarket to them or sell that data. I mean, sure, they might be honest, but it could accidentally get breached or leaked or whatever. Like it's too much. of Absolutely. So decentralization, you are in control of your content, you're in control of your emails, and we take care of the tech and the cool stuff. Not today's topic, but a good way to finish. <laughs> Episode 857, we have covered how to sell memberships. Uh, of course, if you want more, there is a course on profitable membership business over at superfastresults.com or if you're a member of Superfast Business, it's already inside there with everything else. And John, as always, an absolute pleasure. Next time we chat, we might be talking about getting traffic to your membership site. I'm looking forward to that one. Thank you very much. Take care. Discover how to build your business super fast. Check out superfastbusiness.com.